Hey folks, I'm Nog and welcome to Factory Town. We are going to be starting a new series on this because the last one something weird happened with my save and uh, yeah. So, but I really like the game so we are starting a new uh, game and a new series of Factory Town. So we are going with the same defaults and we are not going to alter place the base. And we're just gonna see and create the map. Let's see, we could change the... the yeah, let's change the, um, the starting biome. So let's do... Take Lakeland. And let's start. Right. We're going to run through the tutorial, so that is going to happen. And before we get really into the game, I just want to say that I am going to do a giveaway of one free copy of Factory Town in uh, this series, maybe two. And the first one is going to happen here in the very first episode. So watch the episode and find out how uh, to get included with the chance to to get a free copy of factory town so we're doing the giveaway today but the uh, announcement of who will be the winner will be on next saturday the 8th i guess or is it let's see saturday the 8th yeah so saturday the 8th I will announce who has won a free copy of Factory Town. And a little bit later in the episode, I will tell you how to uh, be in competition for it. So we will not show the launch tips and we will just close this. And let's see, where do we want to build our base? What looks good? We need stone and we need trees and we need some grain near our starting base. I don't actually see any grain anywhere. Don't we have any grain? Oh yeah, there's some. There's some. Ah. I actually thought that all of this was uh, sugar, but it's grain. It just changed the color. It used to be yellow. And it's not yellow at the moment. So, all right. So over here looks pretty good. We have grain, we have stone, we have trees. We have some tomatoes nearby as well. We have herbs. That looks pretty good. Over here doesn't look half bad either. Hmm. Let's see. I'd like to start kind of central so yeah we are going to start over here and we need to place down our base so let's do that and which way do we want it and where do we want it I think I want it here Something like that. That'll work. All right. And we need to get our workers. Just follow the tutorial here. And we need them to gather some wood. So let's do that. And I'm going to set one of them actually to gather some stone straight away. So that we can start getting that in. All right. We have our workers gathering stone. Very good. Or gathering wood, sorry. All right, we need to build a house. And we will build the house. Uh, where do we want to build a house? It's a little bit cramped right here, but that'll change. So let's build the house here. We can always move it later. And that's done. Create some workers. Copy that, and we need to 
generate some coins, so we need to go with some green. Do that. And just set both of them to gather green. Very good. They move faster on paths, so we will build a path for them. And there we go. And next we need to build a lumber mill. So if you don't know Factory Town, uh, Factory Town uh, basically is a, in my opinion, really cute little builder. And uh, you need to build a, a town which is fully automated with all kinds of uh, different things. So you'll have conveyor belts, uh, trains and all kinds of stuff. So it's, it's really cool and it's a lot of fun. So, okay, so we need to gather five stone. I think we've all already done that. And we need to build a lumber mill. So let's build a lumber mill. And we'll build the lumber mill over here, I think. Don't we have five stone? Yeah, we do. Uh, gather five stone, open the build menu. Uh, ah, not enough population. Okay. Well, that sucks. Then we, I guess we'll build another house. And then we'll build the lumber mill. And we'll turn it around and build it right there. So we've unlocked a bunch of new structures. We've unlocked chutes and scaffold ramps and blocks and wood arches and wood bench for a bit of decoration and all kinds of stuff. So very good. All right, we have our lumber mill. Then we need to set it up to make planks. So let's do that. And we need to bring some wood to the lumber mill. So you, instead of going all the way to the base, just bring the wood to the lumber mill. And I think we'll get another worker and we'll tell him to bring planks to the base. All right, and as you can see up here, we are currently using eight of eight workers. So we are at full capacity, but we can build two more houses. Well, that's something. All right, we have supplied the lumber mill. Next, we need to upgrade a house. And for that, we need what? We need five planks and we have two right now. So a couple more and we'll be good. Let's tell one of you guys to Bring it over, the wood over to the lumber mill as well. Oops. All right. Let's actually build the path over here as well. And how many planks do we have? Five, so we can upgrade a house. Very nice. And that gives us two more uh, worker capacity, which is very useful. All right, we've upgraded the house. Next, we need to build a food market. We can do that, I guess. Uh, once we get all the materials we need, we need, we do have all the materials we need, very good. And we'll plop the food market down, I think right here for now. Yeah, that works. And very good. And instead of bringing the Food. You can see the food are generating yellow coins. Is generating yellow coins here. We have 29 yellow coins. We can also generate red, blue, and purple coins. But instead of bringing the grain directly to the houses, we'll bring it to the food market instead. So there we go. And that will automatically distribute the. Uh, the grain out to the houses and provide uh, coins for us and we need coins for a lot of different things uh, so coin is extremely important to get going All right we need to upgrade our base and we can do that we have everything we need so let's get that done immediately house max increased by four very nice so we have built two houses and we can have a total of eight so that is great all right build a grain mill Okay, we can do that, but first I want to upgrade this house so we get a bit more workers. So let's build a grain mill. 
Uh, we need some stone and we need some planks. Okay. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to build another house. Like so. That means that we have... We can get more workers again. And you can see the food market has a pretty big range, so we don't actually have to have the houses this close. But for now, it's fine. And it works. So that's something. Let's, uh, we don't have enough coin to upgrade our house yet. So let's just build the grain mill if we can. I don't think we can just yet. No, we need some stone. Let's grab a couple of workers and tell them to grab stone as well. Like so. so that we get stone coming in a little bit faster. Okay. And you can see now we're down to 11 coins, 12. And it'll go up as these things come in. And they also give happiness. You can see we have plus one happiness here and we need that to go up as well because happiness means that our uh, higher happiness means that our production goes faster so that is very very useful but all right i think we can build a grain mill yes we can uh, let's build it over here actually let's Build it here, I think, like that. And we need to tell the grain mill to make flour. So we'll make some flour, and then we will tell this guy instead of bringing the grain to the directly to the food market, we'll tell them bring it to the grain mill. And we need one more worker. I'm going to plonk him down right here and I'm going to tell him to bring the grain over to the food market there we go and that provides much more coin so before we were uh, the grain was producing one coin and now it's producing four coins instead for every grain that we use and we can see down here uh, not here good we can see here that there is all different kinds of values for the different products. So we have grain, carrot, potato, tomato, sugar, all kinds of stuff. And the, all these are producing yellow coins. And the best one apparently is crowns, which will provide 60. Then we have uh, the red coins and the blue coins and the purple coins. But we also have some categories. So we have grains and the percentage here is how much of the, re re the requirements that it uh, satisfies. So we, the, the higher the percentage, the better. So we have grains, then we have meats, and fruits and vegetables, and dairy, materials, clothing, tools, gadgets, bandages, potions, and all kinds of stuff here. So many different uh, categories to supply to our houses so very good all right and we are making good coin at the moment so let's get that upgraded so we get again more workers should we build another house now while we're at it i think we should let's build that one and upgrade that one so we have eight workers that we are currently using Okay, so the workshop lets you craft wood wheels, conveyor belts, and many other useful and valuable items to help automate your town. So it wants us to build a workshop. But before we do that, let's uh, talk about the giveaway of one free copy of Factory Town. So in order to join the competition, if you will, it's not really a competition, you need to First of all, like and subscribe to uh, on this video and you need to so you need to like the video, you need to be subscribed to the channel 
and you need to leave a comment for the video. Those are the three things you need to do. And in order for me to know that you have done it, you need to take a screenshot and send it to my email. My email is nerd at nerdyoldgamer.com and I'll put it in the description. So send me a screenshot of you having liked and being subscribed and left a comment and I will include you in the pool of people who can win a free copy of uh, Factory Town. And I say free copy, it's free for you, it's not free for me. This is not a sponsored uh, thing where the developer has given me a free copy or anything like that. I am actually buying the game for my with my own money and giving it to you. And I'm go going to gift it to you on Steam, so if you win, you're going to have to friend me on Steam so that I can purchase it for you as a gift. So those are the rules. So leave a like, subscribe, and uh, uh, leave a comment. Send me a screenshot a shot of you being liked, subscribed, and having left a comment. And you are in the pool to be able to win a free copy of Factory Town. And in the uh, episode on Saturday the 8th of June, I will announce who is the winner of the free copy. So uh, good luck. All right, let's get back to the game and let's build a workshop. So buildings, workshop, and we need the workshop. Uh, we actually needed to make wood wheels, I know. So let's, and it needs planks to do that. So let's build the workshop over here. And new structure unlocked fence, uh, half stairs and wagon. Very nice. Okay. And wagons can move four items at a time, but they cannot harvest items. So we need to make wood wheels. And for that, we need planks. So let's get a couple more guys and we'll tell you to bring wood in there and we will tell you to bring planks over there. Oops. So that's all good. And then we need one more guy and he needs to bring wood wheels over there. What was the other thing that we could make? Uh, ah, uh, bring planks out if there are too many, I think we can. All right, so we are getting wood wheels. We have two done already and we need four for a wagon. Funny enough, four wheels for a wagon. And we have three and soon we will have four. Hopefully, come on. There was another wood wheel. Uh, are you not getting any planks right now? No. Is there a worker waiting for planks? Yes. There is. Okay, let's just uh, stop you for now. I want my wood wheel. All right, there we go. And that's wood wheels. Bring the wood wheels to your base and open the build menu, select workers and select wagon. Okay, you can do that. Workers, wagon, and let's build away. All right, all done. So now we can build shoots, which is very, very useful. So let's build a shoot. And we'll just build a shoot right here. And we'll tell you, grab wood and stick it there. And we'll tell you to bring wood, take wood and stick it there. All right, so we have two guys grabbing wood Throwing, on, throwing it on a chute and it rolls down into the lumber mill and gets turned into planks. 
So that is outstanding. Alright, next step. Upgrade the base again. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I had something in my throat there. Alright, so we need five wood wheels. I'm not sure why the base needs wood wheels, but it's fine. Let's hope that this guy gets some uh, planks soon. Not just the other guy. There you go. He got a plank, so plank again. So that's four wood wheels we have. And we just need one more. And then we are up to five. So let's go. There we go. One more wood wheel, which means that we can now upgrade the base. We get another four houses and we have unlocked a new recipe, which is paper. Very nice. All right, build a general store. Okay, let's just delete that wagon. I don't need it right now. Let's see, buildings, general store. And we'll stick the general store next to the market. Okay, so general store built. Earn red coin. Items sold at a general store will produce red coins, which are a special currency you'll need for upgrades, research, and specialized recipes. Okay, so planks generate red coins. So let's get a guy and tell him to oops, here grab planks and deliver them over there. And what we can do is increase this so. Now we have two workers in here and we're now producing at 125% where with one worker it was 100%. So it's not super efficient to upgrade production this way, but it does help some. So now we are earning red coins and we have a ton of yellow coins. Well, a ton is a bit of an exaggeration, but we have some yellow coins and we are generating red coins as well. So very nice. And we have plus, plus three happiness now, which is great. All right. So next we need to build a school. So let's see, what do we need to build a school? We can actually do that right now. But first, let's see, in order to upgrade, we need stone brick. But it hasn't asked us to build that yet. Make yet, that yet. So let's just build a couple of houses here so that we get a few more workers. We have 10 available workers now, so that's good. And how is our plank situation looking? It's going down. So let's get the school built before we're out of planks, because we need 20 of them. So we'll build the school over here, I think. There we go. And we need to craft paper. So we need to build another lumber mill because we need to make paper and to, in order to do that we need water I believe. So let's build it here. You can see it turned blue which means that it has water supplied. So we want to make paper and yes it does need water. And we need some people to grab, grab some paper but we would be blocking these guys if we built a chute. Not quite. We can actually do like this. And then we can grab a couple of workers and tell them, tell them to chop down some trees and bring them over here. All right. So that should get us crafting paper. Well, it's getting, oh, it's not getting the wood. My bad, sorry. There we go, it's getting the wood and it is crafting paper. So next we need, actually we can just grab a chute I think and put it there. Nope, we cannot. So let's delete that and just stick a guy in here and tell him to grab paper and put it in there. All right. So complete research. The school will need lots of paper and coins to complete the research. Select the school, hit the recipe button. Yeah. So what do we want to get? I think we want 
because woodworking give us a barn, create forestry and boat building. That would actually be really nice. Um, masonry would be very nice as well. Let's do woodworking first. Farming is also very useful. Let's do woodworking first. And hopefully we are researching. Yes, we are. So you can see we need 20 research cycles. And we've done seven now, eight, nine, and so on and so forth. And soon we will have researched woodworking. So very, very cool. Go, go, go. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Yay! New research available, forestry. Very nice. So we have completed that research, and that is the end of the tutorial. So that is it for this episode, guys. But don't forget the giveaway. Leave your like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Send me the uh, a screenshot to show that you have, and you are in with a chance to get a free copy of Factory Town. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe, and I'll see you next time.